like I said to you, the, the only problem is, you know, kids now, younger kids, yeah. are like, are following certain people eh, and they're thinking, you know what, th they believe they need to jump into a cycle straight away. Yeah. Which they don't. Yeah. You know, like I always said to people, it's like this, listen, stay natural for as long as you can. For as long as you can. Mm. Try to get some shows under your belt. Shows. Yeah, yeah. Get some if you know if that's if, you, if that's what you want to do. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, train first for fun, and then if you want to compete, get some shows under your belt, and then see what people say about you. Not your friends, you know, your judges and whatever. You know, usually somebody will come out and say to you, "Man, you've got the fucking genetics yeah. to get for." And when somebody says that to you, who's a stranger, who's got no reason to massage your ego. Then you say to yourself, okay, cool, I've got the genetics, so you know what, I best, you know, start investing in somebody to teach me how to train properly before I jump on a cycle. Mm. I need somebody to invest me in on how to eat properly before I jump on a cycle. But the problem is everybody's jumping onto a cycle first. Yeah. Then, the, yeah. The, then, it's, then it's the training, it's fucked up. You know, they got shit form. Mm. And then you've got somebody like Form Police on fucking Instagram showing them, exposing them. They're yeah. bullshit training. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you got them, they're thinking like they can eat anything, you know, while on, a, while on gear. And Fit your macros and all that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> they, they, feel, they feel like, yeah, you can have a pizza instead of proper protein mm -hmm. and then rice, you know what I mean? And, you know, th that's just bullshit. I'm sorry, but it doesn't fit your macros. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you, it's like this, um, you can only build quality muscle with quality nutrition. Yeah. You can't build quality muscle with pizza. You know what I mean? Do you know, I've never, any time, because I've known you since 1998, I, th I feel like we kind of became friends around 2006, 2007. We spent a lot of time yeah. in America together and all over. Yeah. And you've always, you're always eaten clean. Yeah, no, I, you have to try to, it, it has to become a lifestyle. Yeah. It's not like, for me, it isn't like, oh, you know what? I need to jump on a 12 weeks, uh, what's it, in a competition prep. No, all I need to do when it comes to competition time is add cardio in and just clean up my diet. Is that it? Yeah. That's why I get into shape quick. Well, the thing is, I mean, when yeah. you took your top off last Monday, yeah. I mean, you're like, you look, you look in good condition. You're in yeah. good, and you, you've not even started dieting yet. No, and, and the thing is, my body frame can hold another ten pound. You know, what I mean, realistically, yeah. Like if I be realistic, but I'm not going to put on another ten pound for the sake of saying. You know, I'm 300 pound bodybuilder. Yeah, oh, I reached yeah. the 300 pound club. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Fucking dozy fucks. Like, like most of these guys just want to reach that 300 pound mark. What for? Don't you realize how much stress you're putting on your body and on your digestive system? You have to listen to your body. Yeah. You can't force your body to digest more food than you're shoving down its throat. So, hang on, what are you weighing now? 295. 295 and you're in pretty good condition. You know, you're not... I'm all right condition.